the overheading, uh, the overarching thing that we were all looking at was deductions and net income. So things like superannuation, they get taken out of the money that you earn, whether it's like a wage or salary. So being that it gets taken out, that's why we call it a deduction, right? Now, some of the deductions are more important than the others. Health insurance is one that we looked at in detail yesterday. Superannuation is the one that we're going to look at today. Just someone who was here yesterday, or someone else who wasn't but knows. What's like a one sentence definition of superannuation? What is superannuation? Money. Money for retirement. Money for retirement. I think that's perfect, right? Um, now, Money for this is important to notice. Retirement. And you can kind of see this in the question, though I've sliced off part of it. If you work, then your employer is obliged to pay money into superannuation for you that is over and above what you actually earn. So if you earn you know, X amount of dollars per hour, they don't take some of that out and then use that for superannuation. You have your X amount of dollars per hour and then they've got to pay extra. Okay? Now that's important, there's a big distinction there which I'm going to lay out as we go through this question. So as we've been doing with our, all our financial maths questions, let's start by getting the important details down. So, Okay. And then we're going to start to look at the questions and what they're asking for us to do with those numbers. Okay. So first we've got a salary. Uh, Paul has an annual salary, that's his annual income there. So I'm going to write 56092. That's how much he's actually earning. Okay. His employer pays, it just kind of gets cut, cut off here just so I can make it bigger. His employer pays 9%. Superannuation. That's 9% of his income. Okay? So I'm going to call that employer contribution. That's like how much they add in. Okay? So 9% is the employer contribution. Now the part that I cut off because I zoomed in and I, I will now say you, uh, that you'll need to write down is that in addition to his employer paying that extra bit which he can't access till retirement he decides to also put in some money of his own, okay? Um, that's what this bit that cuts off says. Uh, Paul pays 4% of his income himself, right? So that's something he wasn't obliged to do, he just chose, okay? So being that something that that's he's, what he's done himself, we call that, that 4%, we call that a personal contribution. Sometimes, it's, the textbook doesn't tend to use this language, but the real world does, so you guys should know about it. Sometimes this is called a co-contribution, right? So it's like, yeah, you guys are putting in an amount and I'm putting in an amount as well. And sometimes the government will honor that because they're like, yeah, thumbs up for saving, okay? <laughs> That's all the information that the question requires. So we're going to take that and we're now going to try and answer these one, two, three, four parts. Okay. So, part A. How much superannuation is paid on Paul's behalf? Okay, now, look at that wording carefully. On Paul's behalf, which of these does part A refer to? The employer contribution. employer contribution. Yeah, yeah, good. It's the employer contribution. It's the 9%. Okay? So for part A, all I need to say is, on Paul's behalf, the employer contribution, like the actual dollar amount, they're excited about super. Um, all <laughs> is, is 9% of that annual income. That's all I need to calculate. So as has been the theme of this whole topic, really, the maths of this, like the operations are not hard, they're not complicated. What is tricky is the interpretation and knowing what to do with the right numbers. Okay, I'm the right number. um, can someone grab their calculator? Tell me what that number is. 5,048 and 28. 5048. 5048.28. Great, okay. So there's an amount. And can I emphasize, in fact, if you have another color there, you should emphasize it with me, right? This is the employer pay. So it's over and above his salary, okay? It's not part of his salary, it's extra, okay? So I'm gonna write that, over and above salary. Okay, so I've got that tag to myself. Part B, how much does Paul contribute? So this is his own, of his own free will, he's decided I'm gonna pay a little bit extra. Okay, so I've got here the personal contribution. Okay, now, I hope you can see, right? What is the personal contribution? It's just going to be, well, I'm going to go over the same process, but instead of 9%, it's going to be 4%. Okay, would you go ahead, do that, get your calculator out, and tell me what that number is. Did you find your... 
I didn't. This is a new one. That's sad. It is sad. You could. Is it like eighty dollars each? Yeah, they're a bit ridiculous. <laughs> it's the apples. It's the classic example of the apple tax. Yes. 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 They're plastic. Stupid apple. Apple. Give me what? Well, yeah, well. Yeah, apple yeah, sucks. exactly. So I've got a three minute charge. You take. Um, it's, it's, it's like, but well, it may not be so cool. I hate it when it's. Well, did you guys hear about Aero Fifty Three? Did you hear about Fifty Three? No. Yes. So if it'll, you'll get locked if you, yeah. You did not have it. I've got it changed. Um, I, I won't go on about Apple Wars. Okay. Sucks. Has someone got. This is 4%. Oh, yes, because that's where the number is. Has someone got a number for me? 2243.68. 2243 and 68 cents? Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Now, remember how I was saying these two things are different employer contribution and personal contribution, they function differently in regard to his total income. This is not the employer paying for him. This is not over and above salary. This is coming out of his salary. This is from his salary. So please, just like we did before, mark that. Because I'm going to do different things with this number because it's a different kind of number. So I'm going to write that. That's from the salary. Okay, he pays that himself. Now, let me just pause for a moment and just ask a question to you. Like, why would you do this? <laughs> why? Would you, like, this amount is already being taken out. You don't have a choice about that. Why would he go ahead and pay more? Okay? Yeah, Eliana. He's already getting older. Because, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, there was a study done that said if, um, if people, as they're filling out their, like, you know, their superannuation, like, what should they contribute, that kind of thing. If people look at a photo of themselves that's, like, and been an aged photo of themselves, they actually pay more because they think, oh, yeah, I am going to get old really soon and I want to have enough money set aside. Um, so it's an actual psychological effect. I want you to put an important number next to this. Can you put it in a big circle? 15%. And I'll explain it in a second. Did you want to ask a question? No. Okay. Now, 15%, what is the um, relevance of this number? Let me explain. Do you remember I began this lesson by saying superannuation, we're looking at this because it is a kind of, starts with a D, do you remember what it is? It's a deduction, right? Just like health insurance, just like membership fees, on and on and on. Okay. So these kinds of things, will um, reduce your income. Importantly, they will reduce your taxable income. So it gets deducted out of your pay. You don't have to pay tax. Um, that's income tax, right? Now, 15%, this is the number I asked you to write down, right? This is the tax that he's going to have to pay on this amount, right? 15%, it sounds like a lot, doesn't it? Except, it's not. This, this are the, uh, these are the current tax rates, 2015-2016 uh, tax year, because you guys know it's June, July, it's the financial year. Okay. Now I just want you to carefully look at the tax rates, right? Can you see, like this is the lowest tax bracket. Um, if you're earning between 18 and 37,000, you're gonna get taxed 19 cents for each dollar. That means 19%, does that make sense? 19% over that amount, that's how much you get taxed. As you move up, the percentage just increases, right? 32.5%, 37%, uh, and 45%. Okay? Now, that's not 45% of your total income. Uh, when we look at uh, income tax and all that kind of thing, we're going to talk about exactly how to calculate that. You met a bit of it last year. But my point is just to make this comparison. Look at these numbers, and then look at this number. Right? Do you see there's a huge benefit to sort of, if you're willing to surrender a bit of money in the short term, you don't get that tax on it, you just get this tiny tax on it, right? It's almost like you're not paying tax at all. So that's why people do this. That's why people do co-contributions. And in fact, in addition to this, um, sometimes the government will say, you know what, if you give $1,000, we'll just give another $1,000 into your super for free. Like, so long as you put that in, they'll put in that amount. They're so serious about trying to encourage saving for a time. Does that make sense? I feel sense? like the more you save, the more you get. Yeah, that's right. So what they're trying to reward is like delayed gratification, right? Most people are not going to do this. Most people are like, look, I need to have as much money accessible as I can to extend it. But they want you to do this. Where do you have the 15% from? From the government. <laughs> <laughs> Just like I got this from the government. I mean, it does vary from year to year. But generally, it's an amount like this, and it's an amount that is certainly lower than all forms of income tax, because that's the whole incentive behind it. Okay. Um, you'll see this number a period of time. Okay? Well, one more thing, we don't need to worry about this 15% in our calculations for now. Now we're just trying to work out the super thing, but when we look at tax later, that's what it's going to be. Okay, let's go back to the questions. So we were... Sorry, I zoomed in. Okay, so now we can return.
Let's have a look at what part C asks for us. Part C, what is Paul's income, that's his superannuation, contribution? Okay. So I'm going to write this as income less super. So this is after the super has been taken out. Okay. Now this is where, having written these bits in red and treating these contributions differently, this is where this is helpful to us. We know that his income starts here. Right? So I'm going to write down that 56,000 number. And I know something has to get subtracted. These are the contributions, right? But they don't both get subtracted. Do you see why? Do you see why? This is not going to be subtracted because it's over and above. Right? It's completely separate from this number. Okay, so that doesn't get touched. This, however, is the number that he has paid. Okay, so this is going to be subtracted. So there's my two, two, four, three and 68 cents, and that's going to give me his actual income after the contributions have been done. Okay, um, what is that? 50, 53 something? Can someone tell me the number? About 53,848 and 32 cents. Thank you. Okay, lovely. So you see, he's a little bit worse off, but he's not that much worse off. Like this amount has been paid in addition to his salary. All right, last bit. And again, it pays to read carefully and understand how we're going to use these numbers to answer this. What's the total amount paid into a superannuation fund? Okay, now that I'm just thinking about what goes into the fund, both of these numbers go into the fund. They come from different places. One comes from his employer and one comes from him, but they're both ending up in the same pot. Does that make sense? So I'm going to call this total, um, you could call it total contribution, I guess, or total super, both the same thing. Total contribution, and I'm just simply going to add both these numbers. That's what's going to end up in the pile, right? Um, what we got here? So that looks like seven, two. It's going to be like a nine, right? Someone want to finish this number off for me? Nine, one, nine, Thank you. Okay. So again. The math is not hard, all we're doing is like multiplying and adding, but people frequently get these wrong in terms of like, wait, what, which things do I subtract? Which things am I going to include in this total contribution? So that's why, read carefully, put in, put in words, be verbal and explain what the numbers are so that you're not getting confused between them. Okay?